Hello, and welcome back to the 13th century as we continue our Let's Play of CK2, Once and Future King, as we we're playing Emperor Takayaka. Now, unfortunately, I accidentally did not realize I had not recorded probably about 15 years at the time. I thought I had started, but apparently my hard drive disconnected and I lost all um, recordings. So, unfortunately, I have to backtrack because last time uh, I talked with you all, um, Taka, or Putiyaka was not Tengari. He did not reform it. He was able to reform it because I built all these temples out in eastern um, Slavic, ex-Slavic land. We were able to reform it, and I chose warmongering, bloodthirsty gods, metocracy, and temporal. So we became the head of the religion, and we could sacrifice whoever we wanted and basically name our heirs, which is nice. Right now, my nephew is the selected heir. Um, I did not convert any of my vassals, because I'm probably not going to be Tangari for the long term. I mainly did it for the achievement of the bloody line, which I did end up getting to achieve, because I started sacrificing through the blood games, I started going through all of my, um, uh, sacrificing all my prisoners, I ended up going through the ranks of <clears throat> this trait, which basically gives bonuses for how many people I, uh, sacrifice, and then I did a mass sacrifice for all of Rome, and chose the option of Mass Sacrifice. It's known as the Field of Skulls. And through that process, I ended up achieving my goal, which was getting the bloodline of the Soul Flayers. Now, the other consequence of this is that I was able to declare Great Holy Wars. So, as you can see, I was able to create a giant uh, Great Holy War on Mali for the Kingdom of Ghana, which I won. And now we own the counties of Sioux and Egdar, which is what we need for the Roman SPQR achievement, which is the overall achievement I've trying to reach for several in-game years and emperors. And now the other problem is the eight, I also declared a holy war on uh, Caliph Abdul Wahab, Wahab. And we got the Duchy of Fezzan, but unfortunately there is one barony that is still owned by Mali, so I will eventually have to attack Mali so I can get a claim or completely control all of North Africa. We had to fight a small war against the Hospitallers of the Mountains again to claim all of this area without any baronies, and I'm just hoping to finally get that achievement to trigger, which we've been trying to do this whole time, and hopefully it works out. It looks like Mainland Europe still doesn't have any pro- Oh! You. You. How the heck do you have all these? Hmm. Munster Baden. Interesting. They have all these holdings. So yeah. That is what I'm hoping for. And... Also, the other thing I wanted to mention that I did in that time, which I do apologize that I did not record, I thought I did, very foolish of me, you got to miss all this, I ended up clearing out all my prisoners, and we have 400 kills now, between all my sacrifices, died in dungeons, and executed, and we got our nice bloodline, um, let's see, what else did I do, I also started conquering land in southern Finland, so that I eventually can own all of Scandinavia, because my goal is to eventually own all of Europe, I hope. Which owns up to the Ural Mountains, so... I don't know. I will have to check in real life where the border is right here for Asia. So I know it's the Ural Mountains, which is right here. Right through Siberia. So we have to still get some of the Caucasus, clean up all this, clean up northwestern Siberia and the rest of the Scandinavian countries, and get that one 
prosperity in North Africa, and I should finally trigger. I'm really hoping that I finally get that to trigger, which would be really, really nice. Um, yeah. I also have a new concubine, which is a zealot for Tengari, which is nice. Uh, my wife produced two sons. One is sickly, so I didn't choose him as my heir. Um, and I fought several duels and won, because I somehow was able to get a personal combat skill of 111. I am unbeatable in any duel. I have killed all my rivals, and I have gained um, some rank, or gained a rank in the Eagle Warriors through my prowess in dueling. The only thing that stinks is that I hope I'm able to start dueling other people. But not really. Hopefully there is more uh, missions that I can do. Which would be nice. I want more missions. Actually, right now I'll do the blood games for you. So you can actually see it. So, as I was saying in the video that I thought I was recording, I pretend that this is like I rebuilt the Colosseum. I'm thinking of it like that for all. And basically I'm bringing back gladiatorial combat called the blood games. And it has been decided in a few weeks a great tournament shall be held to honor the gods. One of the many who will fight will be the one that claims to be chosen by the gods, but the others will be immolated to save the eternal thrust of the blood of our mortal masters and protect the rest of us from the wrath. Let the preparations begin. Oh, successful jihad. What? What the heck? Oh, wow. They took over Paxania. Okay, why did you do... Okay, proud of you. You made progress. <laughs> give me one of our toughest prisoners. Yeah, give me you. Nothing is wrong with poison this weapon. Because I'm deceitful. He's gonna be... Oh yeah, look at that. He is going to be wrecking him up. I believe in you. Now, the first games I did, my champion actually won, so that was one. Scores of criminal slaves and desperate souls have gathered in the arena of Rome, hoping to earn the blessing of the gods, becoming the champion of the tournament. I take my place of honor among the rest of the Tangari noblemen, which, just letting you know, I did not actually um, convert any of my nobles to Tangari because I'm probably not going to stay as Tangari. I mainly did it just to get the bloodthirsty um, bloodline and to feed into this one particular emperor's mental, not mentality of being an insane madman who's cruel and wroth and just starts massacring people. He's also known as a Sky Lord because that's the um, Crusader King trait for Tengari, which was nice. Anyway, let's start the gladiatorial games. Oh, okay. Look to the next communication. Crowd roars and approval is another word of holding the crowd to be it. The weakest contenders have been quickly disposed of, leaving space for the more experienced fighters, and blessing the ground of the arena with their blood. Soon the remains will be burned to honor the gods. More blood for the gods. Hey, look, I won. As dust settles, the crowd cheers to Spate. The crazy escort Ivar up to the arena's main balcony in order to congratulate him for his victory. Through his actions, many souls have been delivered to the gods today, and by his victory, he's undoubtedly blessed the name of my dynasty. Thank you. Um, he's tormented. Hey, look, your wife. Yep, we sacrifice his wife. Because I'm insane like that. We're just waiting, unfortunately, for this. Fine emperor to go down so that I can actually claim and take over that barony. And finally, finally get Rome. Hey look, Ireland's now in Ireland. Capital. And Wales is Wales. England has gone. Hey, look, it's where it's supposed to be. Interesting. Hmm. This is getting closer. And Romania is still in Romania. Italy's over here. Insane. Okay, that's in the right place. Swabia, Germany. Eh, that's not bad. Where's the other weird capitals? Wait a minute. If 
Vice Royalty of Bohemia. Interesting. Ooh, who can I claim? You. Let's imprison you and then sacrifice you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I also uh, might have excellent with most of the royal family uh, money. Yeah. There was like some kingdom where I sort of executed three of their members. Yeah, we took most of them out. Couldn't get the rest, but I tried. And meanwhile, as you all know, I'm a secret Buddhist technically as I'm doing all this. So it's a little hypocritical, but this guy, I hope, gets the insane treat because he's not only insane. I mean, how could he not be at this point? I want to request a mission. Duel you. I want to duel people. I'm go mad and start dueling. Anyone I see, I'm going down. I want to duel you. I should be yes, I want to almost declare war and take over your nice land here. Oh, glad I'm here. Um, hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Can't even declare war with you. Yeah. And I can't declare war with the kid. Yeah. For another three years. I'm trying to declare the next holy one. Can I know? I want to know when I play the next holy one. Why can there be an next crusade in 16 years? Will I even be alive in 16 years? Ooh, I accept. Um, complete this mission. Personally, lead your troops to Okay, where the heck is that guy? I don't believe somewhere. Oh, okay. Go loot it. Um, on the looter. Go loot that down. <laughs> not gonna leave too much, am I? Absolutely not. Nineteen twelve, I'm a looter. And I see it's currently two point four. Ooh, rumors are true. The holds of yet not filled treasure since I was leader of the assault. I'll take the best share of loot myself. I'm left to share part of this bountiful prize with my brothers and sisters of the Eagle Warriors for informing me of the existence of this treasure. Time to return home. Oh, wow. Yes, give me all their money. Give me all that money. Oh, I had 2.4 that I had? Get out of here. I'm gonna put this down. Return home, man. I accomplished my mission. Ooh, the Seder. Totally win, I believe. Anyway, this was going to be a shorter video because I mainly just did this as a makeup video for all the years that I missed and a complete overview of what happened. So I do apologize for not recording, but I still believe if you <clears throat> that I was able to give some kind of nice um, overview of what happened. And we will continue next time playing as the insane Emperor Put. Yaka and his quest to reform the old borders of the Roman Empire that his ancestors have yet to done yet to do. Till next time, this is Kevin, signing off.